Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have not already watched our How We Met and our q and I'll link them below so you can go watch them because make sure you watch those first before you watch this video. And I have my matcha latte. So before we jump into it, if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any time we upload a video. But anyways, let's jump in to the tea. This is so good. You should try a sip. Oh, thank you. Why? Just try a little sip. It's good. I promise it. you'll I've love it. I've tried it every I time. I promise this no. one is different. Uh -uh. You'll love it. Just a little, a little. This one is so much better. It's good, huh? No. <laughs> but we were jumping in to our first date. So like, technically we went on a date, but it wasn't a date. Because you didn't pay for me. So it's no. not our, it's not a date. We went snowboarding. Was my ex-boyfriend up there when we went to the snowboard shop? Was that that time? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Um, oh, when we went to visit the snowboarding shop. Okay, okay. I had an ex-boyfriend bring a snowboard up to me and we weren't dating. Um, but we were hanging out. We were, no. Me and the ex-boyfriend wasn't dating. Oh, we were broken up. Yeah, but... But he, like, brought my snowboard to me because mm -hmm. I was on the snowboarding team. So, Kiloni is a surfer, for you guys don't know. He's a good one. And I've snowboarded... I don't know about good, good's too much credit. And I've snowboarded my whole life. And so, we were like, yeah, let's go snowboarding together. And so, um, you were kind of seeing that chick a little bit, and I wasn't seeing anybody. I had a few football players wanting to like hang out and I would hang out with them a little bit, but I wasn't like a Jersey chasing girl. So I would just kind of be like, eh, eh, you know, <laughs> meh, no. And then, so we went to the snowboarding shop, got like our passes and stuff, but I feel like you were still hanging out with the girl. Let's call her Ashley. You were still hanging out with Ashley at this time, I feel like, but were you guys official? No, I was never official with anyone in college. But you guys were... We are hanging out a lot. You, but you guys were in that stage of like more than friends but not official. Kind of dating, yeah. So Mount Bachelor, they, like you can buy these passes and park somewhere and then they take you up to the mountain and you ride all day and then you come down. In fact, I think I have a picture. If I do, I'll insert it um, of our first time snowboarding. It was really, really early morning and we rode up. We snowboarded all day, super fun. You didn't pay for me. I paid for myself, so it was like still like we're just kind of friends mm -hmm. um and then this is where the turn of events happen so we are riding down and i tried grabbing your hand and it was like you were like this to me <laughs> you tried grabbing my hand i was like trying to grab your hand and you like were like this i feel like because the girl you're hanging out with ashley she her her friend was on the bus and you didn't want you're like i don't really want to hold your hand but I'm just in the in-between stage i didn't know what to do but do you remember put my head on your shoulder this is on the bus was, going back yes how do you not remember this <clears throat> i remember i don't think i remember having a problem with the lacrosse girl in the back whoever the friend was all i do remember was that i was like we weren't actually on an official date. I felt like I, I knew I liked her and I thought maybe she did too, like you did too. I wasn't sure. So I, I was super timid as far as like making a move, like holding your hand or touching your hand. You were timid? Like, yeah, you But do you not remember even... what else happened on the bus ride? What are oh, you talking yeah. about? The song you put in my ear? Going what song there. was it? It was Chris Brown, Gonna Be My Girl. And you you said this song's for you and you put it in my ear. Yeah. So then we got in the car and we started driving. I went, you didn't have a car, so I was driving him to his house. You purposely made me get lost yeah. driving you home, yeah. even though we lived two streets away from each other. I just didn't know Eugene well. Purposely got lost so we could hang out more. And then I remember you going like this to me. And I was like, don't kiss me, don't kiss me, don't kiss me. I was like really thinking about it. And I was just like this to her, but she was in the driver's seat and I was like really, really wanting like, to kiss her. <laughs> and I was like, should I do it or should I not? We had a good day and I was really going, I really wanted to, but I was like, every guy has probably done that to her. Like try to kiss her on like a first date. But I stuck to my guns and I didn't do it. And, and it worked out. 
that's what kept her, uh, I think, interested. I think so, because if you would have kissed me, I think 100% I would have never talked to you again. And the reason being is just because of that heartbreak, I had that wall up. And so I was never pursuing guys and guys were pursuing me. And so after like a little bit, when they start liking me, I just was turned off and I just didn't care anymore because I had that huge wall. And so this was like the first time where some guy wasn't pursuing me and I didn't know why. I was just like, what's wrong with me? Why doesn't he like me? Am I, am I too pale? <laughs> just kidding. Mm. So, okay. So then, yeah, we're, we're inseparable, on, I feel like. On campus and mm -hmm. just seeing each other outside of And hanging out, out campus. outside of football practice. And, and then that, I think that's when you, I didn't ask you and I didn't know you were going to, but that's when you like broke things off with Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew. It, Ashley was a nice girl, but uh, when I when I started like hanging out with Kat and date like semi dating her, I was like, I've got to just put everything into this because this is way different than anything I've ever had. That's sweet. So you broke things off, and then we went on like our first date, Valentine's Day, and we went. So it's funny because. There's your best friend and his girlfriend who lived in the same house and they asked us what we were doing for Valentine's Day and we said we were going to this restaurant but we didn't want anyone there, we just kind of wanted us and they ended up coming to the exact same restaurant sitting by the, like right next to us. Like they, we were like table by table. They even wanted to like bunch tables together and I was like, like no, no. This, <laughs> this is a date for us and let's just keep them apart. Yeah. Even though they're in hands reaching distance to Yeah, us. literally. So we go to this nice Italian restaurant and for those who don't know me, in fact, you guys don't know this at all, but for those who do know me know I have this kind of problem. I get really, really, really uncomfortable when people buy me things or spend money on me. It's just because I've never really had money and um, like going through college, I've had to have three jobs to pay for everything. So I like, nickel and dime everything. I was just very frugal and so when people were spending money on me it made me super uncomfortable. So the bill came and I was uncomfortable. Like I didn't know what to do. I was like sweaty palms and usually I would always try to offer to pay <laughs> and I would all I mean I can't tell you the amount of dates where I was like no I, let me pay let me pay and the guy was like let's go half these and I was like, like this guy is a joke. The one football player that took me on a date did that. Do you yeah. know who I'm talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> With sushi, and I was like, mm, now we're talking to him again. But anyways, the bill came, and what did, you did something. I think I played a joke, like, oh, you got that? You got the bill or something? Because you knew that it made me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. And she just was like crawling in her skin. I was crawling because he was like, hey, do you got this? And I was like, oh <laughs> my gosh. And I was like, yeah, no problem. Like, I got it. And But then you were like joking. So I was like, ooh, this little butt nugget that like played this joke on me. So this, you guys, is Valentine's Day. You're in Eugene. It's like a college town. Everything's super small, so there's not a lot of restaurants. Um, but it's just like everywhere else in the U.S. where everyone feels like they need yes. to go out to dinner. So like, it's packed. Like every restaurant was packed. Like this one was, yes. not a single seat was open. Yep. I was like, what am I going to do to get him back? Because I was so annoyed. So we were sitting there for a bit. And it kind of was like vomit, like word vomit. I, I can't believe I you like. <laughs> I can't believe I did it either, and I can't believe you stuck with me. So like, I just like kind of yelled. I didn't kind of. I really yelled, and I said, "Oh my gosh, are you proposing to me? Yes, yes!" And you're like, "Wait, what?" And then. <laughs> I literally just had like the blankest face on wall. You're like, what are you talking about? You're, like, were you thinking in your head like, did I just do something to make her think that I'm proposing to her? No, I knew exactly what you're doing, <laughs> and I'm like, and this is on Valentine's Day, so people start clapping. They're all, <laughs> I'm like, no, this is not real right now. He literally was like, no, no, and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I will marry you. And like our friends next to us were like, what is happening? Like this is their first date. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm gonna... <laughs> and so yeah, the whole restaurant was clapping and, and he was just like head down and bolted it to the door. 
but that was pretty funny. So after dinner, I had planned out that we could go to uh, our football stadium at the University of Oregon. And so I had this card that got me into the stadium. And so Sketchy. it was nighttime, you know, just after dinner or whatever. And she didn't know where we were going. I just drove her right into the stadium. I put my card on the pass and we drove right up and we went right up to like the 50 yard line and drove up right into the middle and just parked the car it was cute. right up onto the stadium. Yeah, that was cute. And we sat and we turned on music and we, we turned on our song, um, Valentine's. Kina? It's like Kina or something. You turned on that, which was our song, and we sat and danced. And I think we have pictures of that too. Yeah, we actually went down onto the field. We're we were, like, yeah. Just kind of messing around, like. That was out. so much fun. So, but yeah, that was our first date, and it was a really funny one, a good one, a romantic one. I really yeah. like it. Well, we'll never forget. And here we are. I actually did it for reals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And the next video is gonna be our first kiss, which is so awkward, a little awkward. But anyways, thanks for watching you guys, and we will see you guys next time.